In this tutorial in CyberLink PowerDirector, we're going to show you a simple way to make a pretty classy lower third. I saw this on TV the other day and thought, this is a nice look. How can we replicate this in PowerDirector? And I found a way to do that. We simply have this narration. We want to identify the speaker here. And so let me give you a preview of approximately the end result of this short project. And we'll just do homework together in class. That's called a flipped classroom. Okay. So that's what I'll be doing over the summer, prepping for that. So. Now in order to achieve the look that you just saw, we're going to use color boards and a little bit of keyframing. So I'm going to click in the media content in my media room and choose color boards. Now I'm going to uh, click a yellow color board Let's pick this bright yellow over here and drag it down to track number two. And then we'll take the duration and let's make it, oh, 10 seconds long. Click on OK. And now what I need to do is edit it. So if I double click on it or press the F2 key, that gets me into my PIP designer. And I want to turn off the maintain aspect ratio as my very first thing to do. So we're going to turn this color board basically into a thin line. I can only go so far with the mouse and be accurate. But if I want to be very precise, I go to my scale and I simply choose my down arrow until I get the approximate uh, thinness or thickness of the line. And uh, let's try the 008 here. That looks pretty good. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to have to keyframe it. I'll take my line and drag it off the screen to the right. That's where I want it to start. So I'll click on the position value and click a diamond at the beginning. Then we'll go into our project. Let's go in approximately, um, oh, a second or so. And then at that point, I want to, to uh, create another keyframe. Now, if I notice my X position is 1.5.13 and the Y is 0.921. So I'll drag it over here. I want it on the screen about that far. And now I'm going to change this to 0.921. So it will come in horizontally. So I have one line coming in from right over to the left. And I'll click on um, OK. Now if I just play what I've done so far, I have one line coming across the screen. Now the interesting thing I can do is I can simply copy this, right click and, and click on copy, and then I'll move on uh, track number three. Right click and we'll choose paste, and we'll use overwrite, there's nothing on the track. Make sure it's all the way to the left. Now, to make sure I'm doing this right, I'm going to uncheck track number two for now. And on track number three, uh, we're going to change the keyframes. Double click on this one. And then at the first keyframe, we're going to change the value. We're going to move it up on the X scale. I'm just do it with a mouse for now. I'll move it up about, oh, this distance. Well, let's go a little higher here. So my X value is 1.5. My Y value is 0.796. And that's where, where it starts. So I'll go to the next keyframe. We'll, we'll change the Y value to 0.796. Okay. So what I should have done now is it should come in like the other one did, only at a higher level. Let's go ahead and play the preview, see what happens. It comes over just fine. So I'll click on OK. So now we're going to turn back on my other track. And now they should both come in together. If I click on, on Movie and go ahead and play it, OK, they come in together like they're one unit. Now the next thing I want to do is take a third color board and in this case, I'm going to go into the, I could go into a black scale or uh, something in the gray area, a dark, darkish color. Um, let me pick this one over here. 
We'll drag this on track number four. I'll increase the duration to uh, 10 seconds as well. And what we're going to do is we're going to edit this. And so what I want to do again is turn off maintain aspect ratio. And uh, we're going to make sure that we're in uh, a little ways here. Let's drag the uh, playhead over here so I can see my other items here on the screen. And we're going to place it between our two yellow lines. If you're really good at the mouse, you don't need to do the fine tuning, but it looks like I might have to here. Let's take the height and increase it just a little bit. Okay, that looks pretty good. Now what I want it to do is I want to change the opacity. Uh, when it starts out, I want it to be invisible. So I'll go back here in my uh, keyframe, click on opacity at the very beginning, and I'll turn the opacity, I mean to 0% to start with. So it's totally transparent. And then when we move along to where the yellow lines come in, Okay, they're fully in place at about one second. And so what I want to do is I'll right click and do a duplicate previous keyframe. And then I want it to take maybe a half a second uh, to darken up a little bit. It doesn't have to be quite that long. Uh, let's do like uh, 15 frames or so. And then I'll create another keyframe and here I'm going to change the opacity value. Let's make it maybe 19, 20%, something like that. And so what it does is it will, all of a sudden, it will uh, appear here in maybe a little darker. OK. And then I click on OK. Now let's look at the effect that we have so far. When I click on my movie, go ahead and play it. It comes in, now I have my little bar. The next thing I need to do is take some text and put it on there. I have some text I've done with my text tool. We have lessons on how to do that. I'll simply take this and drag this back here. And uh, I've uh, used, you know, I'll double click on it so you can see what we did. I basically used two text items, one with the name of the study, the other with the name of the speaker. And I've uh, caused the speaker's name to be slightly delayed in, the, in the, the text that we have here. And so what I'd like to do at this point is go ahead and we'll go back to the beginning of our project, click on movie mode, and now we have the bars coming in, a slight gray background, and then we have the name of our speaker. Pretty nice effect, uh, simply done by a little bit of thought with color bars, a little bit with uh, uh, keyframing in terms of location and opacity, and then using your common title tool in CyberLink PowerDirector.